Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bella and I basically talk about almost everything when it comes to travel, reviews, luxury, uh, perfume, and food. So if you like any of that, definitely hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up after you watch this video, obviously. <laughs> yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing Gucci Marmont's it's basically a wallet on chain. So this is what the bag looks like. I actually shortened the strap. I'm going to show you um, basically five ways of how to style this bag. section it out with why I purchased this, this what fits in here, a whole thorough review on this. I wouldn't say it's one of the most practical bags, but it's definitely for a wallet on chain and I own like including this too, wallet on chains already. And this one actually is very generous when it comes to the sizing. Uh, I'm going to show you right now exactly what I'm talking about because I know when it comes to like what I could fit in a bag, I always tend to want to know more about it. And look, this is like an accordion, you know? Like the, the way it opens, it gives you like this this huge accordion open. And I think when it comes to that, a lot of um, wall on chains are lacking that when it comes to space. Most of the wall on chains could only carry cash, cards, how much it is right now. Right now, I think it retails for $1,650. Um, for $1,650, it's actually not that expensive compared to other brands. And I feel like the detail is gorgeous of the bag itself. So the width of it is 4.9 inches, the height is 5.1 inch, and the depth is 2.4 inch. The strap, the drop down of the strap is 24 inches. So it gives you a really nice, uh, I guess, dimension for a wallet on chain. Also, this and the material of this is just amazing for the price point, definitely. Um, because fully aligned inside as well. And then also this chain and this GG logo is an antique gold, which is really, it really complements the actual leather with the antique gold. I think it's it pairs really well and I like that about it. So what actually fits in here? I am actually gonna tell you exactly what fits in here instead of like just putting random stuff in here like most uh, YouTubers would do. But there's 15 card slots, two generous amount of um, generous size, sorry, generous size for like lotions, phone, perfume, I guess uh, receipts, whatever you want to put like a pad or vitamins, whatever, you could literally put in here. So there's two, I want to say two areas in the back pocket and in the front where you could put cash which I like to do because I like to sep separate the small bills in the front and the larger bills all the way in the back so it's a little bit more safer. So the zip compartment is so good if you're trying to put something that you don't want to, I guess, more important because it's a little bit zip actual protection of it so this is great and then the zip has like a leather pull so by the way i'm sorry but yeah this is a button clap so you have to like follow this and there you go you close it like that point of this it's actually really reasonable like uh, this went up a few times too but even though it went up, it didn't have like a huge jump, a huge percentage like other designer brands. The most maybe a, a phone, but this one you could carry all that and more. And for the price points, 
compared to the other brands, this is really good. There's not many designs in the actual store that I really, really love. Logo mania for me. And I'm not a big logo person. Like, I mean, I like designer stuff, but I don't want to be like, I don't know, wearing way too much of it, especially for a handbag. Like, how are you going to style this? How are you going to match it with all that logo on it? I I just don't understand how other people do it. And I give them props for it, but I, I'm... Actually, personally speaking, I'm not a big fan of Gucci bags or, um, I don't know. I don't know about the shoes. I, I mean, I do own like a few Gucci items, but the only certain amount of stuff I actually like about Gucci because sometimes, personally speaking, and please don't get offended, I feel like Gucci is a little bit too loud sometimes with the logos. This to me, um... It doesn't really scream too much like logo. There are like uh, the newer version of the Gucci Mamans, which is this GG logo, and then all over has like GG GG everywhere. And to me, I don't think that's like necessary. And it's really hard to match when you have certain things like that. Personally speaking, when it comes to long term investment, I cannot see myself wearing that t in 10, 10 years afterwards. So um, for this, I feel like it's such a classic look. And this is an off-white. It's not a pure white. I think it will look gorgeous with pure white. I actually want a pure white bag because um, when I'm using this, I think it's, it goes so well with everything. I know, I'm going to be very honest with you, I was really hesitant on getting this color because... I'm, I'm like most scared to damage my uh, luxury goods and because you're spending so much money on it You want to keep it in like really pristine condition and I get it So for me to step out of my comfort zone over like black leather goods to white or off-white whatever you want to call it uh, I was really I guess kind of proud of myself because I knew uh, it was gonna be one of those type of things I have to kind of baby and Honestly, I've never really babied this as much as I thought. Like, I even went to a wedding, and uh, long story short, I passed out, and I was banging this bag everywhere, and there is not one stain on this. Um, I just think it's, it's just so durable, and I like it, and I love the color. It really... I want to say elevates a look, and stands out. And I feel like if I got it in a black version it would have just been a, like a basic every like everybody has that color and I don't want to be like everybody else I want to feel a little bit special so <laughs> I got this um, color that's the reason behind it and also the back I know that there's different types of styles when it comes to the Gucci Marmots and uh, most of the Gucci Marmot bags on the back has like little hearts on the back I think it's a little bit like too girly for my taste. I like this back better when it's like the classic uh, muted GG logo on here entwined with the same color and it's just muted. So I like that. I like how muted it looks and it's not like too like little hearts. Like for, for me, if I'm... Why would I want hearts on like a design on my bag? You know what I'm saying? Like that, that to me is just something a kid would wear so I, I wouldn't want that and uh, I think it's a little bit played out and I'm really happy that I stuck stuck with my gut and choose this color and design because I've always wanted like an off-white or a white bag um, summertime there I rarely rarely wear black I, I wear a lot of blues whites and I don't know like colorful stuff like pastel For me I can never wear like um I guess a super black bag during weather we, we all know that different bags go for different occasions or outfits or whatever. So the bag is actually chevron leather. Um, so if you guys are interested of knowing what kind of leather, it's chevron leather. It's a really durable and beautiful soft leather. I, um, I'm one of those obsession with leather bags. When it comes to leather, I feel like... I don't know, the quality and the craftsmanship of it is just so good. So I think like it's a good, uh, for the price point and everything about it, I feel like it's pretty good for the price point and I did get a lot of good wear of it, of it and, and I think for the long run, and I know most people say it's a really trendy bag so it will go out of style, but I personally don't think it will. Um, even since it first came out, I think uh, six, seven years ago, or maybe five i'm not even sure to be honest don't quote me on it but 
when it first came out till now, I see so many people wearing like chevron leather bags, Gucci Marmonts, Dionysus, um, like stuff like that. But when I saw the Marmonts, it really spoke to me as opposed to like, because each year, each designer comes up with different brand, I mean, different styles each year. So I know for a fact it might be to you you might think it's a trend but if you actually look at the bigger picture the Gucci Marmont has been changing up every year I mean it when it comes to color when it comes to the different types of chain and style but it's still that Gucci Marmont look so if you honestly think it's a trendy piece I honestly don't think so I'm not saying it's going to be an investment piece because uh, the resale value of that is not that good but um, are you buying it because you love it or are you just buying it for investment that's at the end of the day you have to think of it like that uh, for me I actually like the bag I actually really love the bag not like it and I think it's probably one of the more um, it's probably one of those bags that I feel like Gucci made a really good comeback on. Everything else is kind of subpar to me. I don't, I'm not, I was never a big fan of Gucci bags, period. So for me to actually saw that and was like, wow, you know, that really spoke a lot to me. But that's my opinion anyway, so you could take it or leave it, no offense. <laughs> video and if you do please like subscribe and definitely share um you know sharing is caring <laughs> and i hope um you guys have a really lovely day see you next time bye